Hey, and welcome back to this new video. Today, we're gonna be discussing light and how I light my scenes and characters and stuff. Now, keep in mind, this is how I did it. Uh, I kept off from making this tutorial for a long time, mostly because I don't think I'm an expert at lighting. <laughs> This tutorial will be in a 21 by 9 aspect ratio for the first time. So sorry <laughs> if that's uh, annoying to you. Well, it's not like a tutorial or something. This is just how I do my lighting. And I'll give you some tips and tricks. Okay, let's begin. So say I have a little scene here. And we want to light a single character. I'll leave timestamps by the way for when I start lighting a bigger scene. I have this little block out right here of a, a, an unfinished block out of something I'm working on. And I want to light this character to make it kind of look like... Or character, this is Jonesy. You, you all know who this is. So I want to light him and make it look a bit like Fortnite lighting. So in this case, uh, the character is moving a lot, if that is the case. <laughs> For example, in an animation or something, it's good to use a bit of a bit broader light lighting yeah broader lighting so what that means is basically we're either gonna have to make a light follow him if we want to have like super precise lighting or we we want to use a lot of sun lighting so what we'll do uh, is turn off these bones for a bit so we can properly focus on lighting by the way i'm gonna do this for cycles whoa this is uh i think i preset a, a sky texture for this Oh, there we go. There it is. Yeah, so right there. A good example of something very simple that determines how your entire scene looks like is a sky texture. Now, I've seen people make their own skies and that does the lighting for them. But I like the sky texture as you've seen in one of my kind of recent videos. Anyway, the sky texture is the sky texture is kind of good because you can very easily modify the sky like that. And then you can get some good looking lighting right off the bat. Maybe turn up that ozone a bit to get that blueness in there maybe turn down the dust a bit so this is very good to get a general feel of sunlight and just sky light <laughs> now in Fortnite there are often sky uh, what? clouds in the sky and clouds make the Sun <laughs> not bigger but the, if you increase the Sun size and for example the sky texture that will in fact make the shadows smoother or how do I say that? Softer. So as you can see, I, set, I just set the sun size to 20 degrees. If we set it back to one, you can see these shadows are sharp. If we set it to five, these shadows get softer. But we're not talking about the sky texture right now. So we will unplug that. So this is our very default lighting. This is what we're gonna have when you start up cycles and you don't have anything in the world. What we can do right away is set the world color to something more interesting than gray so maybe a little bit of blue in there there you go and then we can add a sun and this sun i like to usually add a few suns actually so what i'll do with this one this is going to point straight down this is basically going to be the sky sky skylight <laughs> so we'll make this a lot bigger like 90 degrees that basically means that the light is gonna be falling down like that and we're gonna have a soft nice little light shining down upon our Jonesy which we can set to three in the brightness brightness thingy yeah and then what you also can do is copy that and make this I, I'm not sure why I do this but I like to have multiple suns and then have change one uh, or have this one at like a slightly lower angle than this one and make a uh, make this one a slightly <coughs> make this one a slightly different color so maybe a bit of blue for the sky or if you want more of those warm tones you can do a little bit of reddish yellow now this camera is in the way go away so now that we have that uh john c is properly lit from above now basically why i did that this 90 degrees and then this one 80 degrees is so that we'll get like uh this 80 degree lamp won't really reach this part for example so what is gonna what's gonna happen is this one is gonna is gonna reach that part and it's gonna make that part look more like this color so if we make it really saturated and maybe turn this one up you can see that like in the softer shadows, we're gonna have more of this tone. 
very cool. Maybe increase that. Yeah, so if you make this even bigger, you can really see the blue coming in there. Of course, if you, this is gonna change the whole, change up the whole lighting like that. As you can see, there's the orange, the purple. This is gonna change all the lighting, lighting, but especially those little nice soft lighting edges. That's what we want here. So I did like the idea of keeping this lamp a bit brighter than this lamp. Or no, no we can just make this one a little bit like that. And make this one. now what we'll do is add an actual sun so basically these two suns we just added we can call this sky one and sky two and now we'll add an actual sun which is going to shine that way and have a lot of a lower angle it's going to be a sun a sun a sun so we can point this any in any direction really and boom just like that okay let's make these skylights a bit dimmer so the sunlight stands out a bit more or not never mind i don't want to do that we just want to make this one brighter now a very important thing when you're lighting is to keep an emphasis on the face because that's where you want to be focusing most of the time anyway so what we can do is instead of rotating the sun this way is rotating the sun that and now the character's face is lit so what we can do now is again copy the sun make it a bit bigger and add some saturation to that so that we get exactly what we did here but then in in the in these yeah it doesn't really move matter where you move these are gonna always have the same position anyway yeah so maybe change up this to that a bit bit bluer so the sky can be blue <laughs> no way that gives us a bit of variation in the lighting and then of course our world is a bit dim right now so what we can do is either add another sun or maybe increase our world by a bit coolio and then another thing we can do is add another sun let's go and this one we're gonna set to five and then we're gonna set it to this way and that way a bit to make a nice rim light and this one we're gonna set to a very saturated blue would you look at that now if you go into our camera camera view align our camera a bit with our character and one very handy dandy thing is that we can turn on denicing in the render but listen up closely do not do this there is a way better way of doing this especially if you're just making still renders you can go into the compositor uh, select use nodes or just go into this thingy first and then just enable the noising data 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 uh. go in here in the, into the compositor add a denoise normal and a beetle in there let's control shift left click if you if doesn't nothing happens in here you can go to edit and then preferences add-ons and then enable the node wrangler add-on right here it's a must have then save preferences and now we can render this out and what you look at that we have a beautiful little lighted light lighting we have a render with lighting we made our and we made this lighting totally by ourselves we don't need a sky texture for this this is way more custom and way more fun yeah so basically what this compositor does is i didn't really <laughs> showcase it very well i just left the render at 4000 samples and it rendered pretty quickly so basically i can show you what it does so if we set this render samples to 10 right it's gonna render super fast so if we if we render now so i did press f12 or just the render image exactly this is how it looks like right now and the compositor makes it like this holy crap so <laughs> let me show you what it does the compositor makes the render look from, from make uh, this is what the <laughs> render looks like and then the compositor denoise node makes it look like uh, this that's <laughs> that that's pretty insane right yeah imagine like that that's four seconds in a cycles render that's pretty cool yeah uh, it's, it's not a lot of uh there's not a lot going on here but that's still pretty cool. And I'll show you what it, what happens when you uh, use the normal denoiser in render in the, in the render. So if you just turn off use nodes and render it again, it looks like this, right? Also looks very good. But if you compare them, the, the capacitor thingy and this render thingy, the capacitor just works better, especially for animations. Now, before we move on to our to our next scene, you can also add a little point light or little, we can make it huge and use this point light to add another little bit of color in there. So I think Fortnite likes to do that with blue colors, maybe very saturated blue color and then turning that right up or basically any color. It's just that this highlight or this uh, little light point light here adds a lot of extra color to the shadows, which is 
a very nice. And of course, of course, if you're gonna use cycles, oh, now let's come back to that face lighting thingy again. You can either use a point light close to the face like that, maybe make it a bit smaller, just like that. Give it a little bit of color, maybe make it even a bit smaller than that. I'm gonna add a point light like that, or you can just make an area light and shine that right at the face. Keep in mind, what you can do with an area light, by the way, is uh, make make this spread thingy bigger or lower. So basically what, what it does now is it has an 80, 180 degree light range. So that basically means that from this angle, when the area light is flat from this angle, like now it's not flat anymore, now it is flat. Uh, it's gonna shine out light from this area, like basically this area. So in every direction that is this area, not behind it. So what you can do is make this lower, like 40 degrees, and then it's gonna show in a more specific spot. In this case, our face. <laughs> that is gonna make it a lot brighter though in that particular spot. So what we can do is just make this a bit not bright. Yeah. And point it toward John C's face anyway. And then I like to make it a disc. Look, now you have this little thingy 2D artists really love to make. This light on the cheekbone. Yeah. But normally I would like to have this a little bit bigger. Like that and then set this to three maybe you still get that emph emphasis on the face uh this is a bit too saturated in my opinion so you know where to look so that's pretty cool when you have these that basically means that if the character is gonna move somewhere else like he does here they're gonna lose that light so basically it's gonna shine somewhere but it's not going to be at his face what you can do in in case that happens and you still want this light to be there specific specifically for his face is adding constraint so we'll go back to this frame add a constraint child off and then oh uh, that's and then grab the armature is it called oh wait the armature is called jonesy there we go and then head and then set inverse so basically what happens now is that the light is gonna follow him like that so if you want this very subtle light to be lighting his to be making his face brighter and you want this to follow him now this doesn't look very <laughs> this doesn't look very natural uh so we can make it a bit dimmer like that uh and you want this light to follow him uh you can do that that way of course if of course if you're in cycles you can add a plane and modify that plane a bit to fit your needs in terms of bounce reflections so you can also add these just just for the purpose of lighting or uh oh yeah lighting your character so basically you can turn it off for the camera and then you can still change up how this looks so this is basically happening through bounce light and so make it blue for example for that little bit of cinematic adding thingy okay i think a little bit of a brown color as bounce light looks good that's usually what ground looks like anyway but yeah for characters it, a lot of what the lighting looks like is the shader so in my case i just made this new shader of mine which basically makes skin look look more like fortnite skin so what it does is like so a normal Fortnite shader, like I used to use for all my animations, makes your uh, faces or skin, I should say. It makes it looks like look like this. So basically, what happens is a lot of red going on in the in the shadows. So basically, this is SSS. But what I did here is just change up the SSS, so subsurface scattering, so that it it's like less red. Now you're still gonna have some red in some areas, which is good. But like, if you're gonna have a little bit too much red, it's gonna have, he's gonna have red teeth, and it doesn't look particularly realistic, or just like Fortnite. This shader, basically, with what I did here, is I added two subsurface scattering nodes, which basically, which basically mix with each other, and these have two very different approaches to this and then i mix that with like basically what happens here is i almost add no redness in, in here like especially here you don't see any redness at all because i basically for the color i basically put in like the normal color of his face and then for the radius i ch changed it up all to be one and basically what this means this is our stands for red g stands for green b stands for blue and so if you have those all at one you're gonna just have white so that means there's gonna be no red at all and a normal subsurface scattering radius looks a little more like this 
like this is still not good. It usually looks like one and then point two and point one. So you're gonna have a lot more red than green and blue, but I don't really want that to happen. Like you're not gonna look outside and then everyone is gonna have extremely red faces and stuff. So uh, that's not exactly accurate. And especially in Fortnite trailers and stuff, you don't really see a lot of red in the, in the subsurface scattering. So uh, that's epic. So I'll just leave this as is, like this. Now I'm not saying that this is the best way to go about it. Like especially like here, Fortnite usually likes to dim or usually likes to make the shadows a bit more bright. <laughs> like uh, there's supposed to be more light coming in uh, in the shadows, which is basically the problem of this light. That if we, if we disable that for a bit, you can see that this, these shadows are way softer. Uh, so yeah, I can, you can turn that down and you still have that little emphasis on the face, but like not a lot more. And this is of course not going to be exactly what Fortnite wants it to look like, but it, I think it looks pretty nice. So what we can do now is move on to a bigger scene. Let's go new and then general and then sure I'll save this. And what we can do now is create a quick little environment just for the, this video. I just realized these rocks don't have their correct textures. Well, that's a bar. Wow, look at those. Very corrupted textures. Wow. Okay, I'll fix that later. So what we have now is, of course, we're going to be rendering in cycles. Because if you don't, you should. <laughs> uh, no, for, for example, just nature scenes like these, especially if you have a lot of trees and grass, it's best to you just use cycles. Because I'll show you. If you add a little bit of transparency, of translucency to these leaves or to this tree, oh, uh, let's use an exemplary HDRI for this. You can see that there is a lot of scattering going on inside those trees. I'll show you what it does without it. Basically, it looks like plastic, right? Uh, I think it's best if we go into this view. Like, if you look at this, that looks all right. If you look at this, wow, there's a lot of scattering in the trees going on. <laughs> Anyways, before we begin, I do really want to share a quick tip with you guys uh it's called mist <laughs> uh if you don't have a lot of computing power and you want to save on using volumetrics and stuff and you are not you don't want any god rays or something or you don't need them you can enable mist in here then go into uh look dev mode of uh, viewport shading <laughs> and then enable in this tab enable mist and then you'll see this which is pretty cool already i mean you can just have mist here <laughs> oh wow uh anyway so what you can do is drag this depth all the way up and would you look at that oh my goodness 
mist. That's a lot of mist. So maybe even more. Look at that mist pass. Oh my god. I am so addicted to doing this, man. I think I'll add uh, actual volumetrics later for the final render. But this already... Oh. And uh, basically how you add this mist is if you go render this out, you're gonna see this, is, this doesn't have any lighting yet. So it's not gonna look like anything at all. Uh, we're gonna set those samples a little bit lower because we have a huge scene with a lot of leaves uh so what we're gonna do is turn on denoising data compositing and add that denoising node let's set it to fast for this for now okay we're gonna render this out and it doesn't look like anything right now and that's because we're gonna add the lighting later but one really cool thing we just added the, the, the mist <laughs> if we go ahead and do this is the mist wow no shit. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna add this little thingy in here. We're gonna add this little thingy in here and make this a color ramp, which goes in there. And then we drag this in there and as you'll see, boom. Wow, that looks terrible. <laughs> uh, well, we can fix that. First thing you should do is drag this thingy down a bit and you'll you'll start to see that oh my god there's mist now and usually it doesn't really look like that mist it, it's a bit, a bit more blue or just anything that looks more like your sky or atmosphere uh in this case it doesn't really work because i have volumetrics in the water so if i turn the volumetrics off it, it's gonna it's gonna work but like if i turn this to a little bit of blue it turns blue wow look at that mist this is basically what happens in fortnite itself like in the game and it's really cool. Okay, so now that that's out of the way, we can go and get, go ahead back back to combined. Yeah, <laughs> uh, my speaking capabilities aren't exactly working today. And one thing we have now is nothing at all actually <laughs> uh, for the lighting, at least. So uh, we do have this HDRI. That's pretty cool. Uh, if you do, if you want this HDRI, this very specific one, uh, what you can do is go into uh, the world, add an environment texture, go to the place where you have your Blender saved, uh, Blender versions. In my case, I just have a separate map that has, that's called Blender versions. I have a lot of Blender versions in here, uh, but you can just pick any and then uh, select a version, data files, studio lights, world, and then in our case, it's going to be forest. Then you can plug that in there and you have your scene light. Basically how I just did that, like it, it should look like this before, and but like uh, I, I used, if you unclick this, you can preview this HDRI, so that's pretty cool. But if you really want to have it in the render, you can just do it like that. Anyway, this is not exactly what I want actually. So I'm just gonna unplug this and what we're gonna do is set this world film to transparent. And by the way, how I have this, it, it should, should normally look like this for you. But if you just do control B, you get this thingy and then you can slide over a certain area and then it's gonna render only that part. If you just control B and then go over the camera, it will only render within the camera. So what I want in this case is a little bit more of a custom type render. Uh, I do see that in the background, nothing actually, <laughs> nothing. Um, so I'll set this world to completely black and I'll turn off the floor and the axis and I'll add a sunlight. Boom, where is it? There. And this sunlight, I want to point a bit that way. And basically what you want to do in lighting uh, is, lighting is a great tool to help, help empathize, empathize? Uh, make your composition look clearer so uh yeah in my case the composition is going to be directed towards the water there uh this water so i want this water to be like a sort of focal point in this art piece so what we'll do is we have this sunlight and that sunlight is gonna shine with a little bit more uh, it's, it's gonna be a bit bigger at first and we want to lay emphasis on the lake so we're gonna slightly port everything towards the lake this is pretty good I'd say and then we're gonna set this to be a bit more vibrant a bit more warm in this case and we're gonna bump that up to five okay that like looks pretty good now we want to add a little skylight just like we did before so we'll alt rotate this sun and then we'll set this to a way higher value like 90 and that's gonna give us this nice more lighted 
slightly bright bright scene oh yeah <laughs> um and we're gonna make this light a bit wider maybe a bit blue even yeah a bit blue okay and then that has that lays a beautiful emphasis on the lake already but what you see right here is that we have a bit of light or just a bright area here so we don't want that not for the composition so what we can do about that is go look at the camera and the camera is where's the camera i think here oh, there it is look at the camera let's make it a bit bigger i wanted it bigger so that we can see it better okay so uh i i already did this uh, let's just pretend that i didn't do that but like select the camera go cursor to select it by pressing shift s so shift s and then cursor to select it add a little plane mesh and uh, rotate this around scale it up all the way and let's make this one entirely black and set that specular to zero now what's gonna happen is basically oh you're gonna make this part a lot darker or actually you know what i want this to go like that jesus man this uh <laughs> Sky, the skylight sun is really doing a very good job at lighting this entire scene. Okay, so what we have now is we have the, we have darkened this a lot. So that means we can focus more on the vocal point, which is right there. So let's turn on viewport denoising. And that already looks like a decent render, right? Yeah, I think it does. So what we can do now is play around with it a bit. So... I believe I want a bit a few more trees over on this side so we can just copy that and set this one to a bit smaller apply the skill that was not a good idea oh the infamous loading icon I hate you I hate you look at that it's just stop slow oh there it goes again I totally forgot that I didn't apply skill on this plane that's a bummer now I'm gonna have to wait for this to either crash or bug the shit out of my scene or we can just clink gone it is now that, that doesn't really matter uh, we can just go here recover auto save lighting demo there it is uh and it's pretty much saved all the way and i think we can just copy this now put it right there and now it's beautiful maybe we can go ahead and so now we have this and again it looks pretty good already but a bit boring so how do we fix that we are going to add a lot more lights and we're going to add a few more trees to make our composition better <laughs> let's go in here now we have a nice little tree right in front of our vision because that's exactly what we want so what we can do now is maybe add a little light as a point right there so basically how i did that is say shift and then left click and then you then you can place your cursor anywhere and then you can add a light and it's exactly where you place your cursor so we're gonna make this point a bit bigger and we're gonna make it a little light just like that as you can see these all of these lights just got a little bit brighter and what we can do with this right you can add a little a little bit of warmth wow like look at the difference between that now this and that and this and that let me see it again Ooh. Wow, Ooh, wow, that's amazing. You can always do a little test render. So we, we will press F12 on that bitch. Look at it go. Oh God, oh God. Oh yeah, so for now I'll turn this volumetric water off. So basically why I did that, that volumetric water, this right here. Why I made this volumetric is because water is also volumetric. Uh, I'm not sure how to explain that. It's like if you have dirty water, there's a lot of dust particles, dirty, dirty earth particles in there. And uh, so you're gonna have volumetric water. And that's how you get those. Wait, let me see. Let me show you. That's how you get those nice little soft shadows in there. If you add that volumetric, those volumetrics. Yes. Okay. So now we will disconnect that. Let's see. This is already at 100 and we'll set this to be brighter <gasps> wow oh that's better i think oh no what if we just oh that's so much better oh wow okay <laughs> should have been white all this time i don't know why i said it's a black anyway we're gonna and that also looks good it's just way clearer water now okay so we'll render that again so it doesn't look messed up would you look at that look at look at what that mist is doing for us right that mist wow it's so good the mist, oh, I love it. If I just go into compositing, you can change it to any color you want. Like, 
Yellow. Boom. Yellow mist. Maybe uh, you want. You know what? Go crazy. Pink mist. Wow. Also looks great. You know. Maybe a bit of uh, Kevin. Kevin in there. Maybe you throw a bit of. Uh, Greenery. Oh, perfect. Oh, look at that. That merges the scene together so nicely. Oh my god. Bro, this mist making me act up. Okay, yeah, yeah, looks good. So that's the basics of it. Uh, you can do a lot of things to modify this. Like, what we can do now, for example, is <laughs> make this even brighter. 10,000 watts of lightness. Wow. Now that's a little bit too much. Um, but what we can do is... Duplicate this, set this to area, make it shine that way. And now it lays a lot more emphasis on these trees. So we're gonna make that a bit more saturated. And we're gonna set this down a little and point it up. Uh, maybe a little bit less saturated and more yellow. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. Not exactly what I want, uh, but what you can do to do get what you want <laughs> is scale it down a bit and put one of these at every tree you want to be lit. So we'll set this to be a little bit less bright. So we want that one to be lit and we want this one to be lit like that and a bit more saturated and maybe less bright. And that we'll do the same thing for this, less bright more saturation. So basically what we're doing here with the lighting is make a natural vignette. So basically make it the edges darker and leave the middle brighter. I think that if we can, if we go in here and kind of show off our, yeah, come on. Where's our, <laughs> where'd our render go? Oh, there it is. Okay, so if I can show you, I think we can just uh, grab a U, no, not a U correct, a U saturation node and slide the saturation all the way down. You'll start to see if you go far, very far away that this part is way brighter and this part is way darker. So that creates a nice little effect. Yeah, wowzers. So we'll delete that. And to make that more apparent, uh, we can just copy this tree and put it right there. And maybe right there. Like this would be even more obvious, obvious of a natural vignette composition. Like it's a shame that we can't really move these trees. <laughs> uh, we can, of course, with our seed. Uh, let's go in here geometry nodes like we can go in here oh yeah there we go and slide this oh not, not yet slide this over we can change all of this up with uh, our seed but that's gonna mess up the whole scene that we carefully lighted already so we are not going to do that we're just gonna keep it like this so that's a little bit of uh artistic uh non-artistic it destroys the artism <laughs> okay sick i did make a little button here that enables grass so that's very cool as well I'm not sure if you uh, have the light pass for grass all the way up let's set this to 80 see if that works better not exactly but it does something okay let's once again oh god <laughs> this grass is really lagging out the scene uh let's once again uh, duplicate this little light right here and make uh, make it shine on our grass at the front just like that oh that looks good that looks good maybe even a bit brighter 500 uh, what oh, <laughs> wait it doesn't it is not doing anything <laughs> uh, come on do something light I know you can do it it's like barely doing anything wait oh there we go oh that's good that's good that's good that's good okay make this decrease this a bit uh yes that also looks good i just don't want these trees to be lit up too much by this okay we're gonna make that a bit bigger so that also looks good but in case you do like want a bigger spread of this like 50 you see oh man these trees are getting lit up and i don't want that you can very you can do this very cool thing, right? And nobody uses this. Uh, you can turn on nodes for light. So what that does is you get this little night light node and you can control the lighting within this. And oh, where did the nodes go? Oh, there, it just, we, it just disabled it. Um, we can control our lights here, right? Oh, that's this is a very cool. Uh, so what we can do in here is grab our light path uh I don't, i'm not sure if that's it uh, let's see let's just grab all the light notes light output no light fall off no math <laughs> okay what we can do is make a greater than and add this in uh ray length add this in there and add that in there and let's see what happens 
when we mess around with this. Let's set this to a very high thing to monitor exactly what's happening. Oh yeah, look, 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 look. So what's happening here is we are making this light go further than the light it is, itself is. That's pretty cool. So what we can do with this as well is limit how far, far the light goes in cycles. So uh, that's a usually a feature in EV, I believe. But like in cycles, you don't really have that, but you actually do because we have these nodes. So if you just go set this to less than, we can cr create our own fall off of light. So we don't want this tree to, to be lit up, especially if we like, if we set this to 40, like you, you, you can definitely see these trees are getting lit up. But if you just add this little node and slide this all the way down to about right there, you can see only the grass gets lit. <laughs> That's lit. <laughs> oh, I'm enjoying myself too much. Okay, let's move this away a bit more like that. And that's so cool. So what we can do now is if we hide this, maybe, no, if we hide this, no, if we hide, yeah, bro, which light is lighting up these trees, man? I just want to know. Give me, give me the lights. Give me the lights. What lights are in here? Wait, maybe we can go in here. Um, so which of these lights could potentially be lighting up these trees? I think this one is the imposter. Hide. It is not the imposter. But we can do that same shit anyway. Light path, math, set this to less than, ray length in there, increase that. And as you can see, only the first tree here like get, gets lit up. Uh, oh, the second tree. Do we want the second tree or do we not? That's the question. I think we do. So we will leave that, just, just leave that there. Oh, do we want this light for this tree? Do we? I don't think we do. So what we can do, light path, math, less than, Ray length, oh, put that in there. Wow, now it's only for that tree. That's so good. It's just, it's just crazy how good that is. Okay, a bit less saturation, a bit more yellow. And we can make this one go, oh, size down a bit. And this angle, we're gonna scale down a bit, maybe a little bit more, just like that. And then we're gonna set this to be a bit less bright, a little dimmer. Wow, even more dimmer. And look at this scene. Look at it, look at it, right? Yeah, just look at it. Wow, wow, wow. You know what, what if we add another light right there? So I basically just, uh, I did this. We're gonna add a light area. Turn that shit around, 2070 degrees. We're gonna scale this light up a lot, right? It's gonna be a big light and we're gonna scale that down just a tad like that. Scale it up like that and make it a very bright. 1000 light, right? Uh, make these, uh, make these uh, 90. Wow, now the back trees are getting lit as well. We're gonna make this 5000. That might, <laughs> that might be a bit, a bit excessive. Okay, uh, 1000. And a beautiful color, right? Cool, pretty cool, pretty cool, I think. I think that's sick, absolutely amazing. Now we can add a little bit of light over there. I'll scale that bitch, scale it up, scale it up, scale it up, scale it up rotate it a lot like that and light these scenes in the scenes <laughs> lights in the back uh, trees oh what am i saying oh scale it down a bit light it light it up so we do get a little bit of interest there now uh, i don't like this tree so we'll delete it now we can add a little bit of less resolution make that really big add a few extra samples and see what that render looks like, shall we? I guess for our final adjustments, we might wanna add a little bit of that background back. So I did a little, I added another black thingy here so, so that this wouldn't be much affected. Uh, or these trees, I mean. <laughs> so if I put this to one, we're gonna have a little bit of a brighter scene. Uh, if we set this to zero, you see there's a lot of contrast going on. I, d I do want that contrast, but like, a bit less would be good, I think. Let's see the difference between that. Maybe put it at 0.5. I might want to make this one a little bit bigger, like that. And point more towards that tree. Nope, not that way, local. And point it more, 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 more. There we go, a little bit of a nice gradient there. And one extra final touch you can always add is depth of field. Like this is one of the most 
important light is it even light i think it's light light tips you can possibly have light thingies in your scene uh, anyway uh we're gonna put our uh, thingy right there because that's our vocal point we're gonna add a little empty which is gonna be this one and we're gonna go into camera oh camera come on camera there we go and we're gonna enable depth of field and then select our empty now what we can do is slide this slide this down a bit and you'll start to see that these trees are getting blurred out and this grass is blurred out a bit makes for a really nice gradient into the spot where you want the focal point to be and you know what just for funsies we'll add a little jonesy in there We're gonna put him right there. Gonna make him cr gonna make him crouch down a bit. Separate those feet. One there and one there. Make him rotate a bit like that. A bit like that. Turn on that IK. Make his fists clench up a bit. Turn that on. Copy it over to the other side. IK on for here. Here's all. Here's all as well. Throw that pelvis forward, add a little bit of a face, facial expressions even though, add a little bit of a facial expression even though we're not gonna see that anyway. Look at him stand there, he's so proud, he's so happy, he's shining. And because he's the vocal, he's the new po vocal point of the scene, we are gonna add some nice lighting. Do you have an obnoxious little reflection of the blue light in your water? No problem. Get that le less than, get that math note in there, set it to less than and you get to keep your blue light, but it's gone in the water. Yeah, yeah. Do you have another reflection there? No problem. Copy this node, go into this light, light, use the nodes, ray length, less than, boom, it's gone. Look at him standing over there. He is so proud. Look at him. Wow. Look at the scrunkly. Look who's the little vocal point now. Look at him. Wow. Okay, I don't want to be doing these rock textures. They look good enough. So I think I'm gonna end the video here. Yeah, so basically nothing crazy. Uh, I know if you really want me to, I, we can uh, do another one <laughs> uh, in which we'll go more into cinematic lightning, lighting and stuff. Like like extra close-ups and depth of field and light lighting through blinders and stuff yeah different lighting situations what makes what kind of lighting emits what kind of emotion promotes that kind of stuff so yeah i think i will see you in the next one then uh, see ya